planning board learns more about a downtown apartment building plan. Residents raise concerns about safety on Nixon and Parmenter roads. I'm Brendan Fitzpatrick, and this is The Frame. Framingham News in Focus. Hi, and welcome to The Frame, an initiative of Access Framingham. I'm Brendan Fitzpatrick. We begin with a roundup of the planning board hearing from last Thursday, July 18th, on the One Howard apartment project. Now, if you don't recall, that's the plan for a six-floor building on Howard Street, adjacent to Farm Pond and the Armenian Church of the Holy Translators, that's slated to have more than 130 units. One Howard LLC is seeking permits to complete that project. Their drainage investigation is one of the most recent things to be done in that project. The planning board has been curious about stormwater and drainage management in regards to that plan. Now, One Howard's team, they had a review and found that pipes have been sloped away from where they should be going and are also sometimes clogged in the area as well. They're working to improve all of those conditions, but planning board member Thomas Bowie said he's still wondering about the measurements of those systems and about where the water table is before discussing the plan's other details. I'm not convinced yet that we're not building a building in a seasonal pond. That's the fundamental spot that I need to hear before we talk about the building. Any of that conversation is irrelevant if we're talking about putting a building in a pond. Now, the city's engineer, Eric Johnson, and the project's peer reviewer will be offering more insight during a meeting on the matter next month. Meanwhile, the Framingham Traffic Commission met this Tuesday, July 23rd, to address speeding and safety concerns along Nixon Road and Parmenter Road. Concerned residents have noted that drivers have been exceeding the posted speed limit of 25 miles an hour in the area, in addition to the blind corners and hills, all of that causing concerns. It puts residents, pedestrians, other drivers, and bikers in danger, they say. Now, the city has collected data from July 9th through the 11th for a study of about 1,200 drivers per day in both ways on Nixon Road. Both the north and southbound averages were above the speed limit. In fact, the 85th percentile of speed northbound was 36 miles an hour on Nixon. Now, the chair of the traffic commission, Brinsley Fuller, he lives in that area, and he noted that many drivers have failed to slow down despite those hills and curves in the roads. If you think going uphill, you'd slow down. It, I don't know if coming from Route 20 they have boosters or what, but they, 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 they get some speed. The question will be what we can do about it, that's all. Officials will be tracking additional data for Parmenter Road in the coming weeks. To see that story and plenty of others, you can visit our website, www.theframe.news, or you can visit Access Framingham's YouTube channel. You can find the video podcast on AFTV's YouTube page if you're listening to this on a podcast platform. You can also find us on social media. Our Instagram and X accounts can be found at Frame News underscore, and you can search us and you can search for us on Facebook. Now, another one of those stories to wrap things up on the frame this week. A local filmmaker is about to debut his new movie at the Woods Hole Film Festival on Cape Cod, and part of it was filmed right here in Framingham, including at FSU. Natick native Spencer Cohen's new film, The Compatriots, tells the story of Javi, a student who's lived in the United States for years while identifying as an American, but is at risk of deportation. Now, it's based off of Spencer's own friendship with, an, with a man named Alberto, who's a dreamer or an undocumented immigrant who came to the U.S. as a child. Spencer came to our studios to talk about the film, which has been in the making for eight years, from the inspiration behind writing it, to the process of shooting it here in the Metro West area and more. Here's a preview of our weekly focus. Well, we shot at Framingham State University. It's where Alberto actually went to college. So they were gracious enough to let us use a, a good amount of campus. If you see any of the classroom scenes in the movie, all those take place at Framingham State. It was super important for me to include these local settings in, in the movie, um, especially because this is where Alberto and I hung out, we grew up. A regular viewer watching the film probably isn't going to feel that connection totally, but the personal connection is there, and I think they will subconsciously feel how embedded this storyline is into our community. Alberto was brought to this country um, when he was younger, um, and it wasn't until later on in high school when he told me that he was a dreamer. So he was brought to this country at a young age and didn't have any of the um, rights that were afforded to me. I had never looked at him any differently, and I had no idea that he had this incredible, awful stress hanging over his head. We talked a lot and tried to figure out what could we possibly do 
to raise awareness about this issue. We joked with him for years that we would marry him to keep him in the country, all our friends. And sometime eight years ago, we said, hey, that would actually make a good movie. You're really seeing a real slice of life um, that someone has had to go through. And also, it's, it is entertaining. Like, the movie is entertaining. Um, we, set, we set out to at, uh, make it a comedy. Like, we, life is funny. Like, life is also tragic. Like, there are lots of moments in life that uh, go up and down like a roller coaster, and film is the best way to capture all those emotions in one single place. I really hope that this movie um, will, will get out there into the world, people will see it and they'll be like, I need to do something about this. this is, and they can potentially be the spark that inspires change um, in the immigration policy around DACA and Dreamers. Now, The Compatriots will make its debut at the Woods Hole Film Festival on Friday, August 2nd at 8.30 p.m. at the Redfield Auditorium. For more details, you can log on to woodsholefilmfestival.org. And again, that full segment on Spencer and his film can be found on Access Framingham's YouTube channel. That's going to do it for this week's Framingham News in Focus. For our entire team here at The Frame, thank you for listening or for watching. I'm Brendan Fitzpatrick. We'll talk to you next week. Take care.